Thanks, Lainey. 13 schools could get shut down in a new master plan for the Guilford County School District. $2 billion would go toward rebuilding some and renovating others. Our Steve King is live tonight. Steve, tell us more about this plan and what it recommends. Well, actually, it sort of dates back to about a year ago when a study was unveiled that showed it would cost about $1.5 billion to repair schools throughout the entire school district. But a new plan unveiled today shows that for about half a billion dollars more than that, school district leaders say there could be more long-term lasting solutions to facility issues throughout the district. You are simply passing an additional cost down to the next generation, and you will pay it because those facilities are, are, many of them are done. A firm hired by Guilford County Schools says instead of repairing all existing buildings in the district, some need to be renovated or replaced entirely. The firm unveiled its Guilford County Schools Master Facilities Plan on Tuesday. We have spent over or nearly a billion dollars already um, just Band-Aids, just being able to expand uh, a building in a school. This is looking at a district-wide um, you know, project, and I think that's going to be financially more efficient. Our heaters aren't working, our air conditioners aren't working, that we have leaky roofs, that uh, the facilities just aren't up to date you know, to accommodate 21st century learning needs and are not really the, the, the schools that our students and our, our staff deserve. At first glance, the, the plan seems to be thorough, it seems to be fair, it's spread across the district. The plan, if approved, would cost more than $2 billion and take about 10 to 15 years to complete. It would include rebuilding 22 schools, renovating 19 others, closing 13 school buildings and 11 administrative buildings, as well as improving safety and learning technology in schools district-wide. It would also include priority repairs for the 56 schools that need them most. Five new schools would be built, some schools would be consolidated, and all mobile units would be eliminated. I hope we see, find the political will and the commissioners find the political will to invest now in the next budget cycle, but also to name a, a bond amount and put a bond on the ballot that's capable of getting us to uh, funding this faster than 10 to 15 years down the road. School District Superintendent Sharon Contreras says she believes the necessary bonds would be put on the ballot by the county commission and ultimately approved by voters. So this is not a plan where there are winners and losers. And with respect to what does this do for the community, it increases home values. It ensures economic development in the region and the sustainability of Guilford County as a force in North Carolina and in the United States. The bonds, if approved, would be implemented in three to five year increments. Very soon we will have a full report with all of the details about these plans on our website, WXII12.com. Reporting live in Greensboro, Steve King, WXII 12 News.